if x y z are two digit natural numbers then uh, the following equation has how many solution now this is going to be some um, somewhat tricky question so see when you have these sort of questions now you, what what you have to do is you need to um, think a way by which you can uh, convert the terms into perfect squares right by combining the terms what I mean is so here we have 5x square 20y square 2z square but uh, looking at the right hand side we have 4xy 8yz and 4zx right so 4xy can be obtained uh, by uh, one of the term if it is having the coefficient as 1 and other term if it is having the coefficient as 2 then when we uh, square the sum of the terms and so 2ab will give us 4xy sort of things right so what I can do is uh, since y square seems to be uh, the coefficient of y square seems to be big what I can do is I can take one of the x square then 4 of the y square and I combine this right then so it is x minus 2y whole square right x minus 2y whole square then uh, we have 2z and we have 4zx so 1z I can take and 1 uh, here it is x square so I'm left with now 4x square so now I can take 2x whole square that is 4x square plus z square because uh, we need one more z to combine uh, with y so it is minus 4zx right so it is 2x whole square so 4x square and x square 5x square is complete uh, 4y square is there now we are left with 16y square so that is 16y square we are left with 1z square so it is z uh, square plus so it is z minus 4 y whole square so 8 y z now it's complete so precisely it can be the entire expression can be written as because uh, I have taken all the terms at this side it is x minus 2 y whole square plus x minus 2 z whole square plus z minus 4 y or 4 y minus z whatever whole square is equal to 0 since I have taken all the terms to left hand side now square of the term we have the uh, three terms which are in square right square plus a square plus a square now they cannot be 0 right if we have uh, real numbers or natural numbers over here if we are talking about so there is just one condition when uh, this expression will be 0 when x is equal to 2y x is equal to 2 z and z is equal to 4y sorry it is 2x minus z so 2x is equal to z x is equal to 2y 2x is equal to z and z is equal to 4y in this single condition this expression will be 0 I'm sorry for this mistake now x is equal to 2y and uh, z is equal to 2x and z is equal to 4y that means z is the biggest number right now z is the biggest number and that is multiple of 4 so biggest number two digit number that is multiple of 4 since x y z are two digit natural numbers so the biggest two digit number that is multiple of 4 it will be 96 so z is equal to 96 maximum value of z can be 96 since we have to find out the number of solutions over here so I'm just find, uh, trying to find out okay, the maximum value what can be the maximum value so maximum value of z that can be uh, 96 and since x y z are two digit natural numbers so and the y value of y is the minimum right because x is 2 y and z is 4 y so minimum value of y that will be 10 and maximum value of y will be when z is equal to 96 y will be 24 so from 10 to 24 so in all uh, we have uh, 15 values right so from when y is equal to 10 11 12 up to 24 we will have 15 values right so for 15 values of y we will have 15 values of z and 15 values of x right with all these restrictions so what is your answer it's 15 okay I hope you are clear with this 
If ABC is a, a circumscribed triangle such that measurements of length AF, this is a bit unclear, but this is AF, FC, CE, EB, BD and DA are prime numbers and length of AC is 12, BC is 9, okay and I is the in center of the inscribed circle then uh, we have to find out area and uh, other things okay let's try that now since AF FC the AF FC uh, all these uh, parts are in prime numbers the length of all these parts are prime numbers we just try to make a breakup 12 uh, we can write 5 and 7 so over here it is 5 and 4 no 7 and 2 so I can take this as 5 this is 7 so this is 7 and this is 2 because from an external point both the lengths are same so 7 and 2 so this is 2 this is 2 this is 5 okay now there is a relationship between a semi perimeter or uh, in radius and area of the triangle so that is semi perimeter of this triangle into radius of the circle that is in radius is equal to nothing but area of the triangle and area of the triangle is root of s s minus a s minus b and s minus c since we have been given the three sides we can use this formula to calculate the area of the triangle right uh, because we have to find out area of the triangle and in radius of the triangle uh, in radius of the uh, precisely the circles radius we have to find out so s is what a semi perimeter of uh, triangle that is sum of the sides divided by 2 so that is 12 plus 9 plus 7 so that is 28 divided by 2 that is 14 okay so in square root we have 14 into 14 minus 12 into 14 minus 9 into 14 minus 7 okay so this is uh, what we have as the area of the triangle 2 and 7 14 14 will come out of the square root so we get 14 root 5 so that is area of triangle ABC okay now we know uh, semi perimeter is 14 in radius we have to find out an area of the triangle is 14 root 5 okay so 14 is cancelled so uh, in radius will be root 5 okay so I hope this thing is clear very nice simple concept if n square minus 38 by n plus 1 is an integer maximum value of n is okay uh, we have n plus 1 in the denominator and uh, so n square minus 38 that should be multiple of n plus 1 right so uh, since this entire term is an integer so what I can do is to make it simple I write down n square minus 1 minus 37 by n plus 1 so n square minus 1 upon n plus 1 minus 37 upon n plus 1 now this part is definitely an integer because n square minus 1 is factor of n plus uh, multiple of n plus 1 so we have to find out for what value max maximum value of n this part will be an integer right so since a uh, numerator is 37 this part should be factor of 37 then only will be getting that as an uh, this term as an integer so maximum value of n that can be that we can put over here is 36 so 36 plus 1 that is 37 37 by 37 will get 1 that is an integer right bigger than 36 will be getting a fraction a proper fraction that is uh, the value will be less than 1 right so we will not get integer so maximum value that n can take over here is 36 right so I hope you are clear